Okay, so we just finished that part of our sky first layer. Uh, straight oils right out of the tube, then we add the white just to uh, soften those colors. We're going to repeat that in the water. We'll have a little of this in the water and then the rest of it will be a darker blue. A darker blue, so here we go. I'm going to take this down right about down. here. Take a little red. Oh, so it's kind of reverse of what's up there? Yeah. I'm going to take some really awful green, mix it with it. Some puke green. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right into some, uh, some blue, a little, uh, a different type of blue. This is ultramarine blue and some cerulean blue. This Which is the cerulean ultramarine there. I'm just making a horizontal brush strokes. Soften them later. In my sketch, I have trees right here and mountains starting here, so um, I want it pretty much to be in the shadow of the mountain. So these colors right here, I can throw some some uh, sap green. Mix it with the blue. Don't be too perfect. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow back here. So is there any science to this or theory? No, just, you're, you're looking at it reflection. So I know there's going to be green mountains So with the sky up there. So you're just looking at reflection colors. Okay. Okay, once I have that much on there, I'll start right back in that area of yellow again. You can even go this way for a little while. Remember like I did in the sky, I just muddy it. This is my muddy layer, I call it my muddy layer. Take that real soft blending brush. Sometimes I have to soften it because it's been used to uh, Sometimes it gets a little bit stiff, so. Don't worry too much, because my next layer is going to totally cover this, so it can be a little streaky. That'd be okay. Okay, come right back up here to the mountains. We're going to start, let's see. Let's start right in the middle. So I'm going to take a little bit of that uh, sap green, a little yellow mixture. Put a little bit of a light color there. The light's here, so I might put some of this on the back side here. A little bit on the back side here. I might see if I can find my mountain here. A little bit on the back side here. Okay, we have a little bit of mountain over here. Okay, now I'm going to start darkening it, going right into some sap green. Put a little red in it. Yes, put some colors in there that are pretty dark. Yeah, we'll keep up with me there, Michael. Oh yeah. Okay. Remember, this is just my muddy, muddy first layer. I want to remember sort of where I had that branch. Come back into my sap green, little red, a little bit of burnt umber. Eventually these will be cliffs, have trees on them. Okay, my tree, I'm just going to remember where it is. Okay, 
it's okay. I did take a picture of that tree, so I can draw it back in if I totally lose it. Well, I put purple down here for to be some clouds, but I did change that when I came up there with that mountain. silhouette of that tree. I want this to be a little lighter than what's going to be here. I'll get some of that when I blend it later. Yeah, this tree is almost going to be black when it's done there. That'll be the edge. Sort of shows you where I'm going. I'm going to mix up some more sap green, come right back to this. Uh, before I even start to soft blend or anything, I'll mix up some sap green. And mixing the sap, sap green will allow me to get all the way down to the water and then uh, come back and soft blend. But the whole lesson right here is just use pure colors, get your, your canvas covered. Sometimes where you need some white, you can put some white in, but I put very little white and then uh, work on a dark canvas that's already set up in my composition, my light and dark values. Basically nothing, yeah, none of the detail is done. Not even the final color, just sort of a close color to what I'm gonna finish the painting with. Okay, I'm gonna mix some sap green, come right back.